Good afternoon, it is currently around 5 p.m. We have just finished work and now we are getting ready to go to Edinburgh. So we're going for the weekend for Beth's birthday from Friday to Monday and we've got a lot planned as well. So you should see a lot in this vlog. So we'll be leaving in about 15 minutes. So we need to quickly pack all our stuff ready to take to the airport. There we are, everything packed and now we are off to the airport. It's actually surprising how long the flight is. It's about an hour and 15 minutes, which is probably longer than Amsterdam, which is crazy. But I've downloaded the KSI uh, documentary to watch on the plane, so I've still not watched that yet, so we'll have to see how good that is. Arrived at the Silver Zone parking at Bristol Airport. Hopefully it's gonna be a smooth ride, but we'll have to see. just arrived at the Ibis South Bridge Hotel. It's pretty basic to be honest, but we're only staying here for the one night. It was actually a really good journey to get to Edinburgh in the end. So we got the flight about an hour and 20 minutes, but we we're about 20 minutes delayed. So we're a little bit off time there. And then we got the tram into the center onto Prince's Street, which was really simple to get and not too expensive either. I think it was like £9.70 return. So we're only staying here for the one night really, just because I want to do the Hollywood Park run tomorrow. But it was actually called off last week it was frozen so i'm praying to god that actually goes ahead tomorrow so i'll quickly show you the room it's pretty basic but it's got all the necessities so we've got a nice double bed tv and then the bathroom's a little bit like a cabin uh, on a cruise ship so you've got a mirror there the wooden floor toilets the shower and then you've got a little bit of storage there for clothes etc they actually gave us some like caramel logs which i've never seen before i'd actually know whether these are scottish or not I've never seen them before. We'll have to have a look at them. Try give them a taste, see what we think. And then we've not got a great view. We've just got the outside courtyard area. So thankfully it's cold. No one's out there. Otherwise they could see us getting dressed. So I've just noticed that the caramel logs actually be made in Glasgow, which I'm surprised because it's like the rival city of Edinburgh. So I'm very surprised that they're supplying those. But we'll give it a try and see what we think. Oh, it looks it looks like a Weetabix, to be honest. I don't know if you can see that. It looks it looks like a Weetabix rather than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be one of those chocolate wafer bars. Mm, it's all right. It tastes a little bit like cereal, to be honest. I won't give that a very high rating out of 10. I'll probably give that a 4 out of 10. So that's it now. It's time for bed. Feeling a bit tired, to be honest. I don't know why, because I literally sat down at an office all day and then just travelled to Edinburgh and that's about it. So... Uh, Gonna get a good night's sleep and then the run in the morning. Good morning, we have just woken up and it is Saturday. So I'm doing the park run this morning at Hollywood Park. And thankfully it wasn't called off because it was frozen, but we had a decent sleep. There was a few noises from the pipes, etc. But apart from that, it was all good. So we've just ran Hollywood Park run, a quick 5K, although it's quite a difficult one. One and a half kilometers going uphill, followed by a straight, and then a one and a half kilometers downhill. So feeling a bit knackered and the legs are aching. But now we're gonna hand our luggage in to the Ibis reception, and then we are off on our walking tour. So ready to go out, and before we go on the walking tour, we're just gonna grab a quick bit of breakfast. I thought I'd try a vegan haggis roll. Let's see what it's like. It looks like haggis, to be fair. Mmm. It's actually really good.
we've just finished the Harry Potter walking tour. It was really good fun and I definitely recommend it. It's completely free and then you give donations at the end if you do want to go. This here is inspiration to Diagon Alley from Harry Potter. Butterbeer is very tasty as well and now we're going to go head off shopping. We've just happened to uh, stumble into Edinburgh Castle. Absolutely stunning views. And there is the castle itself. We've just been to a few shops for the best birthday and now we are heading back to the Ibis Hotel where we're going to collect our stuff and then move on to the Apex Waterloo. Just arrived at the Apex Waterloo Hotel, a room at 935, and I'll give you a quick room tour. So this room is a lot nicer than the Ibis. You've got the cupboards on the left. As you walk in, got a nice bit of hot chocolate, shortbread and popcorn. Very happy with that. The fridge and the safe as well. Then you've got the bathroom here. So you've got the toilet and tap. Nice little mirror there as well for us. A shower and a bath. So we'll take that every day of the week. I'm definitely gonna be getting into that bath at some point. And now into the bedroom, the main area. There's all this area here. So if you need a desk, you've got your little second bed if you wanna bring anyone back. <laughs> sofa, well not sofa, a little bit of a couch there. And then the bed, nice little bed. And then the view you can't really see right now as it is currently about 6 p.m. So uh, unfortunately can't see anything outside. They've also left us a few little presents as well. We've got a lavender mist for the pillows. Not too sure whether that helps you sleep or if it's just to make it smell nice. And then we've also been given a rubber duck, which is quite cute as well. Someone will have to name him, name him in the comments. Best name in the comments, that will be his name. And not only that, we've also been given two free drinks with it being Beth's birthday. So we've had our shower, got Gladiator on in the background. I used to love Gladiator as a kid, so uh, it's been good to watch a bit of that again. Thanks for even getting an Uber to the Italian as we've been walking around literally all day. Didn't sit down for like four hours before we had our uh, John Lewis cake. And then we also had to walk from the Ibis to the Apex Hotel and it's just so hilly around Edinburgh. Loads of steps to do as well, going down and up, down and up all the time. So I'm quite happy that we're getting an Uber. Just got back from Sorrellella, the Italian vegan restaurant which we went to. It's Beth's birthday this weekend, so she's choosing all the restaurants, but she chose a good choice. It was really nice and tasty food. We also noticed they'd won quite a few awards in 2021 for the best chef in Scotland. It's basically like a small little independent uh, restaurant, not many tables. I'd probably say there was about maybe 10, 15 tables. For start, we had the garlic focaccia, which was really good. It was very garlicky though, so uh, there won't be any vampires here tonight. For main, I had a ham and pepperoni pizza, which was quite tasty as well. Usually I'm not a massive fan of the cheese on vegan pizza, but that one was actually okay. Beth had the vegan carbonara. She said that was very nice as well. Gave that a nine out of 10. I tried it, but I'm not a massive fan of carbonara or creamy pastas, so I would never go for that. And then for dessert, we had the white chocolate and raspberry 
cheesecake. That was very tasty, I have to say. But again, I'm not a huge fan of vegan cheesecake. There's something that I always taste, which is a little bit off. I'm not that's something I'm not a massive fan about with vegan cheesecake, but that was quite a nice one. And then after that, we traveled back to the hotel. So we get in the Uber there and back. And we had, went to the hotel restaurant to use our drinks vouchers, which we got earlier. Uh, we both had a Deserano with Diet Coke, both very tasty. And then for some reason, the Royal Navy were playing the Royal Air Force in the rugby on TV. I've never seen that before. I never knew that was a thing. So uh, that was pretty cool to see. And now I'm absolutely knackered, stuffed as well from all the food we just had. We had a three-course meal essentially in the end, even though we shared the starter and dessert. And now we are off to bed. So quite a busy day. I feel knackered. I probably look quite tired as well. I feel like I've got bags under my eyes these last few weeks. So uh, hopefully can get some good rest today. And then tomorrow is another day where we've got lots more planned. We are off to the hop on and off tour, bus tour around Edinburgh. and make our way down to the Chihuahua Cafe. 